The homeboy, 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 we ain't done yet, right? I coming back with just a drop. He's using, oh my God, like the black food coloring doesn't alter the flavor at all. Like, why is he doing this? What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video. And today we're gonna watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, let's go check this out. Oh boy, look at this, I got a new container, okay? I never did a jungle juice in this one, so I figured let me... Those kind of containers are not meant for alcohol, FYI. Okay guys, so you see what's going on there? Let's hit it with a little bit of Everclear, 60% alcohol. Let's see if we can get a tipsy... Yeah, especially higher ABV alcohol like that. Definitely not good for that plastic. Tornado going. Tornado! Oh Lord. Of course, it's tipsy bartender, so of course it's gonna make a mess. I don't wanna know if you play me, keep it on the... Okay. Why are you putting vodka? You just put in Everclear. Everclear is just high-proof vodka. This is redundant. So let's come behind with some raspberry lemonade. Why? Because we have some left, so let's add it in. That's what drinking's all about. Pouring in whatever you don't need. No, don't listen to him. This is not what drinking is about. This is not what bartending is about. Bartending is not about putting in random things together and hoping that the guests don't hate it. That's not bartending. I don't know, because it's peachy. I, I don't know. Peach. <laughs> and he's not gonna leave any room for ice again. Another room temperature punch by Tipsy Bartender. Oh Lord, this took the whole thing. Look at her measurements. Dude, her measurements were on point. I give you this, okay? It's not on point. You didn't leave any space for ice. And there you have it. Of course, <laughs> doesn't remember what the name of the drink is because he's just making it up as he's going along. Now there's two reasons I want Oreos. One, they go good with Diego and they go- No, they don't. I've never heard of that. That sounds gross. So good with ice cream, but also to make this blacker. Because I'm really looking for a black mix. But guys, it's not just that, you see. I really want to highlight the black, okay? So I had to send away the um Wow. He put it in those Oreos for the color. Like if he is gonna use the food coloring anyways, why? Like, just use the food coloring. Check this though. I'll put a couple of droplets in there. Just to give this a nice little Jaeger base. What is that supposed to do? It's just gonna push it up. Oh yeah, look at that Jaeger float. No, it's gone. Okay. Like, you put like a quarter of an ounce or half an ounce of Jägermeister and you're dumping this giant milkshake on top, it's gonna, the pouring action itself is gonna mix the Jaeger in and it's all gone now. Guys, we're still not done yet. We're still not done yet. Okay guys, check this out. Oh yeah. The homeboy, 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 we ain't done yet, right? I coming back with just a drop. He's using, oh my God, like, it would have been more practical to use something like crushed up Oreo, the cookie part of it. But the black food coloring doesn't alter your flavor at all. Like, why is he doing this? So these ingredients should go real well, okay? You will enjoy this one, okay? So man up, take a little sip, all right? Stay tipsy, drink responsibly, don't drink and drive, and when you do drink, Jaeger Oreos. Yeah, and he's not gonna drink it. He's telling people to man up and drink it, but he's not even gonna drink it. Start off with Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid's always a party. Damn, that's a heavy pour. And I already got a nice green, so I don't need too much of this. This melon, okay, guys? So you're only gonna use that, not for the flavor, but just for the food coloring. The Kool-Aid already has food coloring in it. Like, it's already green, like, and it's a darker shade of green than this green. So if anything, this is gonna make it less green. Let me add something to this, okay? Oh yeah. You're gonna serve that with the seeds? Oh yeah. Cut off! Guys, you can let it settle or you can scrape it off. Your call. Yeah, scrape it off, get that sugary foam right on the tabletop. Because making a mess in Tipsy Bartender's kitchen is mandatory. Now I come in with my little stir. 
Now we and there's no room for her ice. Once again, he's making another room temperature punch. And so now what I'm doing with the pouring syrup is I'm just rolling my glass in this good stuff. Now it's a difficult roll because this damn thing had a handle on it, but here's what you could do. You actually put your finger in it and you could run it around the rim. Now you grab your little... Dude, that's gross. There's a reason why bartenders use limes to rim glasses, not corn syrup. Because you grab the wedge and rim it, you don't have to use your freaking finger to touch where people's mouths are supposed to touch. Woo! Yes, ma'am. So now I come in now and I grab a couple of apples. Why did you even put it into that pitcher if you're just gonna take it off? Why didn't you just cut extra apple garnishes just for the serving glasses? Okay, come in with my little pour. No ice in the serving glasses as well. And guys, a triple rainbow. Bang! Put one on the side. Why? Why do you need another garnish that's exactly the one that's inside? Why? And also, what's the purpose of the ones that are floating in the drink? And there you have it! The same patty! And of course, you gotta have one of the candies touching the dirty table. Look at how much stuff is on that table. It's a mess. Ooh, we get our bubble gum, homeboy. This is magic now. Oh, there we go. There bubble gum? What is he gonna be doing with bubble gum? Is he trying to make an infusion? Here we go. This is the last one. Can I eat this one? Okay. Yeah, why even wear gloves? It's just gonna be eating with them. It defeats the whole purpose of them. Okay. Now, we can hit this with some rum. Guys, so there's no food coloring in this. We didn't add any. What this does is pulls the color and the flavor from the gum, okay? Yes, but there's food coloring in the gum. This. Look at the color on that bad boy, man. Damn, that's cute. Dude, it's food coloring. Why are you so impressed by food coloring? I didn't tell you what kind of dolls I have. I got a little Yoda doll, okay? I got a Luke Skywalker doll. If she's bringing the lollipop right on the countertop. You put the wrapper on the counter, why not just put the lollipop and rest it on the wrapper so it doesn't touch the countertop like that? Okay, let me play. Anyway, all right, so just get this in here. <laughs> like that. Why are you putting it that way? You're putting the handle of the lollipop in there. It's gonna be soaking up that sugar. Like how? Or are people gonna be holding this thing? Build my house around this. They know what to do, okay? And that's how you get beautiful looking stuff, okay? It'll be very sugary, but it'll be good. All right, drink responsibly. Don't drink. So you're gonna serve that without a straw? It's a frozen drink. How are you supposed to drink it without a straw? Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave on the comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.